So by having it held in an escrow account or a client account or a third party account where the deal sourcer could not get their hands on it until the transaction has been completed and that has been confirmed by both parties that those funds cannot be released. Hi guys, it's Arshalahi and in today's video, one of the questions that I get asked quite a lot is about deal sourcing and when do you get paid? And more importantly, how does that work? So I'm gonna try and take you through on a step-by-step -step process. Now, before we do that, I need a small favor from you. If you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell, every time I release a video, you get to get notified of it. Now, as you may be aware, this channel is sponsored by the Property Investor app, which is the UK's first property investment platform, which showcases all kinds of deals all over the UK. Whether you're looking for that below market value deal, that rent to rent deal, that lease option deal, we've got them all there. Now, there are two ways to get involved. You can either go to our website, which is propertyinvestorapp.co.uk, or if you've got a smartphone, go to the app store, type in property investor and download it from there. So deal sourcing, just a bit of a recap. If you've not watched any of my videos before, I'm going to try and stick a little link somewhere up there where it can tell you what the basics of deal sourcing is all about. So what we are is almost like a glorified estate agent. I call this a glorified estate agent because it's not a new skill. All we've got is we've got a seller over here, we've got a buyer over here. We're trying to facilitate the sale. And as a result, we charge a fee from the center, whether you charge the seller or whether you charge the buyer, it's completely down to you. However, you cannot charge both because that is immoral. So I generally charge the buyer because it makes getting the seller on board a lot easier. So I generally charge the buyer and we charge a fee. Now, lots of people ask me, Ash, when do you take the fee? Where do you hold the fee? And how does that work? Now, lots of ways to do this. Now, if you're on lots of property forums, lots of property investors aren't really keen on paying you a fee up front, not knowing who you are and what you're all about. So let's just imagine that you've just come off a property course and all of a sudden you become this phenomenal deal sourcer. That sounds all great, but you've not got a track record. So why would you expect someone to hand you three or five thousand pounds, not knowing who you are, but more importantly, they could find you and you're now sat on a beach somewhere in Barbara. Barbados. Sounds great, doesn't it? No, but the reality is that why would they pay you that fee? Now, what have you done to deserve that fee? What due diligence have you done? How have you brought that deal together? Now, more importantly, for the protection of the buyer, you should hold what is called either a client account or you could use a system or a service like an escrow account. Now, escrow accounts is pretty much like a third party intermediary account. And what that account does, it holds the funds so the buyer will put their funds into the escrow account, which is set up by the deal sourcer. Now, there is a fee attached to this. And the reason why it's quite secure, it will put your buyer at ease, knowing that the funds are not sat in the deal sourcer's bank account. Because let's face it, the deal sourcer stops answering their phone tomorrow and they stop responding to emails. What's the recall on that? So by having it held in an escrow account or a client account or a third party account where the deal sourcer could not get their hands on it until the transaction has been completed and that has been confirmed by both parties that those funds cannot be released. If anything, they can only be recalled from the buyer, but again, from confirmation from the deal sourcer. So that's one of the methods that we use. We also ask any buyer if they want, they can leave their funds with their solicitor. Now, the reason why we do that is because, first of all, there may not be a fee attached to it like it would be with the escrow account. More importantly, because the solicitor is hopefully going to be acting for the purchaser, for the purchase of the transaction, it's going to be an easier transaction. And as a result, it should give you as a deal sourcer the comfort knowing that the funds have transacted and they've been held in a secure place like it would be with the escrow. More important, it just shows you that you're actually dealing with a bona fide buyer and not a person that's just looking to come and kick the tires and touch and feel and got no intention of buying. So they're the two main ways that we use at the Property Investor app to try and and get a buyer to secure their fee, especially if they've never worked with us before, they don't know anything about us. And I wouldn't go and just give my, let's say three or 5,000 pounds to a random stranger. That doesn't make sense. So if you want to play the long game with deal sourcing, you've got to make sure that you've got facilities in place so that it puts the seller at ease, it puts the buyer at ease, but more importantly, it allows the whole transaction to be smooth and seamless. So it's a shorter video than what I'd normally do, but hopefully it doesn't need to be any longer than that. If you want it, you can literally Google what escrow accounts are, or you can speak to your solicitor or a solicitor that has a client account and ask them if they're happy to hold funds on behalf of a potential 
potential purchaser and that's exactly what we do so hopefully you've enjoyed that any questions please feel free to pop them below or if you've got a question go to my website which is rshalahi.com forward slash contacts and you can leave us a message in there and i'll respond to it over a video or if you want to book a call you're more than welcome to book a, a coaching call with me and again i'll put the link in the description below so if you like more free content like that i release a podcast every tuesday at 6 a.m it's called the property rebel go and check it out we've got it on apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, spotify stitcher just to name a few as well as that as you're aware i'm on social media i'm on facebook linkedin instagram twitter clubhouse and tiktok all under the handle of r shalahi and finally as i said at the start of this video that this channel is sponsored by the property investor app which is the uk's first property investment platform which showcases all kinds of deals all over the uk whether you're looking for below market value deals rent to rent deals lease option deals we've got them all there now two ways to get involved you can either go to a website which is propertyinvestorapp.co.uk or if you've got a smartphone go to the app store type in property investor and download it from there as always guys i wish you all to be safe well and happy don't forget to hit subscribe like and i look forward to speaking to you all very soon thank you and bye-bye